Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received, more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. Whoa. Oh, so good in the neighborhood, Pisces. <clears throat> Dance a conchuco, fandango, bolero, Zeris will drink manzanilla. So, you know what time it is, baby cakes. Yeah, wink, wink. <laughs> Taro is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dawn, presiding. Go ahead and keep eating your sandwich. So, we're going to check in on the energy of the person you're dealing with or whatever energy might be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to put that shit together, baby. Yeah. Get my breath to decompress. Show! down on the table i've got the seven of cups i've got the four of swords i've got the five of wands oh the overall energy here for the reading is the nine of pentacles okay somebody's single somebody feeling liberated here okay we've got the seven of cups this is all about confusion illusion fantasy um because you got a lot of options here so it's like you don't really know what to do so it's a lot of confusion four of swords this shows um uh, a transition here of you know, after going through heartache here, there's still a little bit of sorrow and grief. So now it's time to go within to find some kind of answer, to seek solitude, to heal. Five of Wands, this is you and your person here. And you guys are like, there's like a wall in between here. We got a fire going, lots of passion. So I don't know, there was some kind of argument here. Your person was like, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I'm tired of you messing up my sock drawer. I didn't touch your sock drawer. I only messed with the fork drawer. You don't even put the dishes away. Ah, gah, 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 gah. So it's like two people screaming at each other between a wall. And it's like you both are basically like, yeah, it's like uh, you remember when you were a kid and you put the cup with the string and it'd have another cup and your brother would go to the, or sister would go to the other side of the room and you guys would talk in the cup and start shouting. This is basically like what it sounds like. Okay. So, let's see what's going on here between the two of you here. What is this argument about between Pisces and their person? Five of Wands, let's go. Five of Wands, what is this argument about here? Okay, Pisces. This argument is about the King of Pentacles here and the Ten of Wands here, okay? So somebody's feeling exhausted here from this argument here, but it's like at the end of the day, they're just blowing off the steam from this argument here, okay? And they're headed your way still. So what's this person, what are they going to do when they head to Pisces Way here? What, what are they, top to bottom, let's go, come on. What are they going to do when they head to Pisces Way? What is this person going to do when they head to Pisces Way, please? What are they going to do? Okay. They're wanting to come in here and bring some kind of balance here to the situation. After a period of not talking, this could be 
maybe six days here, a few days have gone by. So now they're wanting to come in and tell you that they're wanting the same thing as you. And so what are they wanting that's the same as Pisces? Top to bottom. What are they wanting now that's the same thing as what Pisces is wanting? What are they wanting that's the same thing as Pisces is wanting? They're wanting some growth here in this situation, okay? They're wanting to nurture this situation. They're wanting some growth, okay? All right, okay, all right. So they're wanting to, some growth here in this situation. Okay, I can appreciate that. So what is this person so confused about with the Seven of Cups? They're confused about love. It's like they're trying to get more information here about love. So they're confused about this whole entire situation between the two of you. All right. They could even be confused about love and their ideas of love here. Oh, my God. So why is this person so confused with the Page of Swords to the Lover's card? Why is this person so confused with the Page of Swords to the Lover's card? Hold on. A bunch of stuff came out. Okay, so it's like, there's a sense of rejection here, okay? It's either they rejected you or you rejected them because they were confused about love. But now they're wanting to come in here and deliver a message here that they're wanting something long-term here, okay? So it seems like things are starting to pan out here or work out here for this person. They're finally getting unconfused here. The messages just come in real fast. Sometimes they don't, and sometimes they do. I just never know what's going to happen. So, what's this person been reflecting on with the Four of Swords here? The Three of Cups. Let's go one more deeper on that Three of Cups to the Four of Swords. Three of Cups to the Four of Swords. Three of Cups to the Four of Swords. Yeah. It's like they've been reflecting here on the good times that you had together and the little love that they did bring in here. And they thought that it was enough here to change the situation. But ultimately now this person has realized that what they were doing before here was not enough to change the situation here. So now it's like whether they rejected you or you rejected them, it's like now they're wanting to bring in like a serious love offer because now this person's wanting the same thing that you wanted. So I think that you were the one here that got rejected here, Pisces. And now all of a sudden they've realized here that they're wanting the same thing that you want, which is love. Okay. All right. Okay. Wow. That was like short and to the point today. Holy. I didn't even get, I did, well, I kind of got upset, you know, the beginning of the five of wands, but you know, that wasn't too crazy. So we're going to close this off with the White Sage, and then we're going to get the final messages from the Meow Mouse. What else do you want to tell Pisces before I close off this reading? What else do you want to tell Pisces here? They're single. They want to have a conversation that's going to change things here. And what else? Okay, this is a... this. They feel a strong past life soul com, soulmate connection to you, Pisces. They do. They do. If you think they don't, don't... Don't fool yourself. They actually do. Not all of them, because some of them are pendejos here at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and do the meow meows. Meow, meow, meow. Kitty boom, boom. All right, let's go. Pisces dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces? You guys are not talking. Okay. Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Cancer. Okay, something's changed here, and it's not looking good here. Scorp, how do you feel about Pisces? Okay. Scorp is very much... They are very much in love with you here, and they're wanting more information here about you. Aries. I don't know what that was, top to bottom. Aries, how do you feel about Pisces? Okay, well, they think you're might looking like a snack here at the end of the day. <laughs> Leo. Leo, how do you feel about Pisces? Uh, they're very much guarded against you right now. Uh, Saggy, how do you feel about Pisces? Let's go. Sag, Sag, Sag. You guys are definitely not talking. Um, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra here. Okay. They've been holding back from an important conversation here 
but they're gonna have it's gonna happen soon like real soon and it might feel a little bit cold and detached for some odd reason uh gemini how do you feel about pisces gemini 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 what was that i don't know what that was i'm looking okay all right there it goes okay gemini feels like you're really hot and they got a lot gemini's got a lot of passion for you aquarius how do you feel about pisces <clears throat> thank you okay aquarius is wanting more information virgo how do you feel about pisces virgo virgo is in love with you taurus <clears throat> how do you feel about pisces taurus okay hold on a second it fell out here okay it seems like they're they're headed towards a long-term relationship here this is what they want they want a long-term relationship and they would like a kitten with you okay <laughs> cappy how do you feel about pisces cap 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 Cap, 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 cap. Okay. I feel like Capricorn here is really wanting to step up here and offer you a long-term commitment here. And I feel like Capricorn has got a lot of money here, too, for whatever reason. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy this reading. Show's adjourned.